These are misdemeanor marijuana arrests, which you see uh, spiking precipitously in the 90s. We're a libertarian publication, and so the, the, this kind of uh, chart is, uh, you know, alarming to us, to, to say the least. And then, um, you know, in the in the subsequent years, most states at this point have legalized cannabis on one level yeah. or another. I guess my, my question for you is, how do you think that has gone so far? Terribly. New York City, New York State's a case in point. I had the experience when I went to L.A. in 2002. California, supposedly the healthiest state in America, uh, basically had uh, uh, medical marijuana clinics where you basically get a doctor's prescription to go get marijuana. And outside every one of those clinics, you'd see quite a few characters hanging around hoping to scrounge marijuana off the people going in with the prescriptions. That uh, my prediction for you, uh, I am not a supporter of marijuana in any way, shape, or form, except for medicinal use, because I don't think we so fully understand its impact on the development of young people or the day-to-day -day use that we're now actually encouraging. Uh, in my last year, 2016, in New York City, uh, marijuana was associated with more murders than cocaine, heroin, and the other drugs. Fentanyl had just begun to occur during that time. What uh, what does that mean to say associated? That there was mean, marijuana you know, on the scene? Crime associated with uh, people trying to rip off marijuana dealing, that uh, it just was always found at the scenes of so many of these crimes. But you're, okay. you're not saying it was, I mean, it's not like during Prohibition where, you know, uh, Al Capone and Bugsy Moran were fighting it out over booze. I mean, it's not marijuana isn't causing it. It's just it's at the oh, scene lot, lot of it, lot people of it, are lot, using it. A lot of it was, in fact, with uh, criminals basically going after each other to rob each other of the monies that it generates, mm -hmm. rob each other of control of the sale of it, which was because it was illegal to sell it. Uh, uh, right. Still illegal in some instances. It might now part of the issue. It is so confusing as to. Uh, yeah. How do you get it? Right now, well, there are so 1,500 illegals locations in New York to buy it. There are three legal locations. Right. So the billions of dollars of tax revenue that the state claims it's going to get, they're not going to get it. Meanwhile, well, that's, 15, that's bad bureaucracy. But I mean, it's bad is it, bureaucracy. isn't that and I mean, the rollout has certainly been botched of legal marijuana. But if um, isn't this a point in case where it's not marijuana? People don't smoke marijuana and then become I've got to kill somebody. If anything, they tend to become pretty chill. But by making it legal and putting it into storefronts, like you know, nobody nobody really gets uh, you know you you don't see a lot of murders around the uh, black market sale of booze anymore, like you did during prohibition. Wouldn't legalizing it alleviate much of the crime that you're talking about? If it had been done properly, it was not done properly in California. It's being done horrifically poorly here in New York State. Uh, even the idea of restricting these legal marijuana stores to people who had been convicted mm -hmm. of crimes involving marijuana. Uh, so it, it sets a, uh, a, a, a bad example in some respects, if you will, that uh, because you were involved in the illegal sale in the past, you now go to the front of the line to try to sell it legally. No, the issue here is the and idea. So you, is, if I, I just to dilate on that a little bit, you you don't believe in the idea of of of, of a good drug dealer, essentially. I am right? not. That, a, I'm, I'm making very clear. I am not a yeah. supporter of the legalization of marijuana. Other than I'm a strong believer in its use for medicinal purposes. Right. I think its use in a regular way over time, we just don't know. There's mm -hmm. a lot of studies out there that are still being studied. Uh, so that this rush to legalize, most of the rush to legalize by our politicians uh, is twofold. One, to prevent uh, the potential creation of criminal records, which is a, a, a reasonable uh, uh, rationale. But the other is to uh, generate money. Right. And to and generating the money, this is where it's going to fall down because there's not a state that's legalized that, that's ever recognized the money that they thought they were going to get. Why? Well, because yeah, that, I, well, I, I'm sure we, we, I think we'll have to agree to disagree on some of this. Certainly, Colorado. Oh, we'll definitely disagree on marijuana. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> and no other drugs that. and other drugs and or, or currently yeah. illegal drugs. You are against. You yeah. know, I, I mean, because one of our arguments would be when you make the sale, uh, the production and the sale of these things legal 
you take the crime away from it. In the exactly in the same way that alcohol. Well, you, you, you take the crime. crime you take some. You take some of the crime away, because the illegal market is still out there. You think the Mexican cartels are basically yeah. gotten out of the business of uh, uh, trying to control the marijuana? They're very busy now with fentanyl, naturally. But yeah. the idea is that there's the black a way around that too. To, Legalize it. But the black market still generates a significant amount of the crime in the sense, and also the fact that mm-hmm. it's still a cash business. And this, the other issue at the federal level, yeah. it's still illegal. So you basically have to take cash because you effectively can't use the banks. So as uh, Mayor Adams has complained about in New York City, I haven't seen the specific figures, but the concern about all these illegal marijuana shops with all this cash on hand become targets for robberies. We'll see how that goes over time. Well, again, there's a, a clear fix to that. We will have you back after drugs are actually legal and we see that crime disappears around the drug traffic as well as the I, I, I ills think of drug I, 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 I gonna, What you're going to end then see is that all these movies about zombies wandering the streets. That's yeah, what, yeah. yeah that's uh, what but they'll, they'll be happy and peaceful. <laughs> Hey, that's an excerpt from our Reason live stream with Bill Bratton, who was New York City's top cop. He also worked in L.A. and oversaw dramatic decreases in crime. We talked about what's going on now, what worked in the past, what might work in the future, and how do you square all of that with the need for civil liberties. If you want to watch the whole video, check it out. And if you want to check out our Reason live streams, we do them every Thursday at Zach Weismuller and I at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Go to Reason.com and check us out.